Style is a way to say who you are without having to speak. Hello, my name is Alex Lee and I am from New Infinity. Today's episode on Design Seed, we will be revealing a transformation of a tropical inspired property, amalgamating into a modern luxury hotel suite. The young owners both share a strong sense of passion in how they dress for their daily lifestyle. Alitia is a fashionista who runs a fashion label which outlines a sense of expectation of her daily attire. This property is designed to cater for the owner's daily routines. From the moment the owner wakes up, a raised up meditation and yoga platform is built to create a zen corner as a calming retreat. Outside the bathroom, there is a full height wall that blocks out the mass of the natural lighting. And due to the nature of the property, the ceiling height has its restriction. This makes the bathroom struggle to have a well-lighted interior. So how do we tackle this? Avoid having blocked up partitions, using glass screens instead to create a wider transparency Selection of bright materials like white would greatly improve the lighting of the space as it allows a better reflection of the natural lighting from the window opening. Reduce carpentry works at the eye level which would block out the spacious impression of the space. Lastly, large mirrors with chamfered details as the final touch to give a larger and brighter impression to the interior. The outcome of the transformation would turn out like this. Due to the humidity in the bathrooms, window coverings are normally applied with roller blinds. However, for this case, white timber blinds with a contrasting choice of black fabric tapes were selected to give the bathroom and the bathtub an elegant backdrop. The choices of materials, as always, would impact the design outcome drastically. The white marble used in this bathroom is called the Arabascato Statura Real, which has a subtle grey which leads us to explore a combination of the grey marble called the Fior di Pesco. This grey marble parades a graceful vein that gives a sophisticated outcome. Paired with the finest quality of sanitary fittings by Hans Grohe, Durovit, Kotler, and the crowning blow of some little details of gold trimmings, chamfered mirrors, and a gold pendant lamps. All these carefully selected details is what turns this bathroom into a splendor masterpiece. A pocket door that divides the bathroom from the master suite is conveniently tucked in a customized carpentry headboard. When the pocket door is closed, it lines up a mirroring feature wall that spans across the entire headboard. As the room is fairly lengthy, we designed the headboard with a vertical approach to perceive a high impression of the bedroom design. Coupled with the continuation of the Fior di Pesco marble bordering the headboards on both sides. The framework details of the headboard points out an alluring depth. This tucked-in corner at the far end of the master suite 
has the best natural lighting that allows the owners to enjoy their reading session. That's not all, this corner has an opening that leads to the private garden which Aletia enjoys her hobby of nurturing some self-grown plants. I wouldn't consider myself a bookworm, but I do enjoy reading a lot. Specifically books that triggers a sense of curiosity for me. Another reason I enjoy reading is because I am a bibliophile. I love collecting books and using them occasionally for my flat lay photography. One of the key requirements which my husband and I highlighted to Alex was to have every corner of the house to be Instagram worthy. I love fashion. I love reading. I love photography. I love details. And I love nature. Over the evenings, I spend most of the time nurturing these plants. It gives me a serenity and a calm mindset, like a strong connection with nature. And I believe this habit has gotten me to position myself to be more contented with my life. When a client says she would dominate the entire wardrobe and her wardrobe is a sanctuary, this client clearly wasn't kidding. We demolish a bathroom and turn an entire 240 square feet bedroom into a dreamy fairy tale wardrobe. Spanning across the walk-in closet with two rows of full height cabinets, this walk-in closet is complete with display shelvings for the owner's designer's handbags and shoe collection to be elegantly paraded. Two display cabinet swing doors in gold aluminum finish frames up a majestic exhibition for the long gown display cabinet. We always have requests from clients to fit in an island in the kitchen. But today's episode, we have an island in the walk-in closet. This customized island houses storage cabinets that keeps the owner's collection of over a hundred pairs of sunglasses. When I was a little girl, I always enjoyed dolling up. <laughs> As I grew up, my interest for fashion elevated and I knew for sure it was something I wanted to pursue. Not forgetting the dressing table. Lighting design is crucial for a clear visual to apply one's makeup evenly. Lighting positioning needs to be between the person and the mirror to ensure there isn't shadows casted on the face. If you notice, there isn't a slight hint of PowerPoints across this dressing table. This is to ensure that dangling wires of your hair dryers and hair curlers are well organized and stowed away from causing a mess. Confidence is the most beautiful thing a woman can wear. And for me, dressing up for every occasion gets me excited and it breeds my confidence. I always have this coat that rings along my head by Coco Chanel. Every day is a fashion show and the world is my runway. The existing TV wall was restricted to be tucked in within an awkward corner beside a side sliding door to a semi-outdoor patio. The first impression to this home as you enter the property is this living hall and we needed to create a wow factor that could depict the luxurious direction that we were going for. 
After a few rounds of troubleshoot and brainstorm sessions, we then decided to extend the living hall out to the patio and use the entire stretch of the wall to now become a grandeur TV feature wall. Furnished with refined workmanship of veneer strips and a meticulously selected strong character marble called the Grey Saint Laurent. Every piece of marble in this property was carefully selected and put into drawings before being fabricated into the carpentry. Every piece of marble that goes up had to be carefully monitored as we couldn't afford to have any room for errors. As a marble is a natural stone and not a single piece would turn out identical. If a single piece were to be damaged, we may have the entire stretch of marble feature wall reconstructed. Designing the marble TV wall spanning across the entire living hall has made the awkward curve flush across the cabinet. We took the opportunity of the inverted space to craft storage cabinets that would fit within the hollow space. This makes the entire storage cabinet for the speakers and players to be neatly tucked in without protruding its bulkiness. The dry kitchen is the heart of this home. A massive size island that conquers the space with matching tonalities and design elements with the living hall isn't just all about mass, but merely functional too. The marble top sweeps across the island, giving the owners ample room to operate, be it for baking, prepping, mingling with friends, or even just to settle in to work. This island absolutely improves the spatial quality of this home. When a luxury of having such a large kitchen is allowed, optimizing the kitchen flow would be crucial. We needed to understand how the owners would operate the kitchen. What was the usage for? How many power points were needed? What sort of silverware should be stored here and the rest at the wet kitchen? And also, the amount and types of appliances that the owners would require. Tucked secretly behind this dry kitchen hides a private work studio, which allows the owner to seclude himself from the rest of the home when a conference call or some serious tasks needs to be done. The visual of the dining hall was initially narrowed by two boxed-up columns. After demolishing the box up, we realized that there was a supporting column that could not be removed. We tackled this hurdle by turning this column space into an imposing liquor display cabinet with a custom solid veneer preparation top which shades a spiced-up identity to the subtly designed dry kitchen. What was initially a saw eye to the center of the space has now been transformed into a conversational piece and yet put to good use. When the dining wall spans across the entire area, even the largest dining table could not visually balance its proportion. What we decided to place on this dining wall made an entirely refreshing touch to the backdrop. Looking into this 6 feet diameter feature mirror, at every angle you look into it, it gives a riveting view of the home at the same time gives a larger impression of the elongated dining space. Every piece of loose furniture, sanitary fittings, lighting or drapery was thoroughly filtered to ensure the best combination to achieve such an extraordinary outcome. Every space has a unique function for different purpose. Lighting configuration that gives different sets of ambience to the space makes this home adaptable to different occasions and different moods. The transformation of this project is an extraordinary exemplar of good chemistry and communication between the designer 
and a client. If you're looking to hire an interior designer, you should not hold back and share every single detail that revolves around your daily needs to your designer and indulge while the magic transpires. My name is Alex Lee and I am from New Infinity. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification button to stay in the loop of more compelling episodes. Thank you for watching.